Alrighty. Oh. Back again with Tales of Grim. Uh, today we're going to discuss a little bit more about characters and some of the different factors of them. Uh, So, uh, should grab some of this stuff here. Ooh. Day of the Lord. I need, okay, well, I need something different for Mace Force. All right. Go on to Heroes. Do a quick, uh, Gear Star up. Uh, we'll choose this one because she needs more power. Right. So, some different factors that I'm looking at bringing up <clears throat> is, uh, how does some of this work? Uh, how do they work together? And, uh, what can you do outside of the norm? So we'll jump into here, grab whatever I got here. So, let's talk about this, shall we? So, right now I'm using Miss Conch. Miss Conch is a healer, but a different kind of healer. You got healers that, you know, heal and buff a couple, and then they might hit one of the other. Or hit the enemies. Or they might buff the team and uh, revive. Or heal and buff the team and then revive. Excuse me. Uh, there's also... It falls under the uh, support category. And there's more than just this kind of support. Uh, so one good one that I can bring up on support would be... Brimen, if I think right, yes. He provides a flame shield and some debuffs to the enemies. So 50% chance to cause disorder, which decreases hit rate and defense. And then uh, he grants flame shield, which reflects damage, and it provides damage relief. So there's various types of support uh this is also a unique passive skill by bremen when your allies crit it heals you, your team for 10 percent. so when one of your heroes crits uh 10 percent of that damage goes to healing so there's another type of healing outside of the normal one if i think right latusha Yes, she's also support, burning and recovery. <laughs> Heals three allies for the lowest, uh, with the lowest HP for 78% of her attack, and one gains flame mark. So they it increases their healing and crit resist, and uh, one hit it has a 70% chance to inflict flaming. So there's other types of buffing and support. As well as, you know, various damage, you know, damage, amplification, burning, flaming. Um, when an enemy takes damage from a persistent debuff, 20% of the damage is converted into healing shared equally by all allies. So, when, say, you got poison and burning on enemies... And she's in your team. 
20% of that damage that goes from those, you know, either one of those two is now pushed into healing. So you have many, many ways of healing outside of just your normal. I, you know, I've, I've got one Larissa, Ooh, excuse me, you know, and I've had various others, you know, I'm trying to remember, is it Nessie? Yes. You know, you got um, where Nessie deals damage and heals one ally, uh, heals all allies, and chance to increase uh, defense. So there's many ways with how supports work. Now, I swapped from Thumbelina. Let me see here. Yep, so I went from Thumbelina, which is here, and she does healing and shielding to <sighs> Miss Conch. Hmm, excuse me. Uh, that does freezing and healing. So I have a chance with her magic bubble. Is it this one? No, it's not that one. My bad. It is this one. Okay. Whichever enemy unit has the highest speed deals 192% magic damage with an 80% chance of inflicting freezing. And granting block shield to the ally with the lowest HP ratio. So there's a very high chance to freeze with her. Similar to Cindy. Now let me see if I got here too late. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Maybe. Our guild probably already smacked around. Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, they did. No chances. Man, our guild is beautiful. Okay, I need EXP now. Uh, I don't have this. Okay. I'm trying to assist here with what I can. <clears throat> Uh, I am down on EXP as well, and I don't think I have his fragments. Okay. Um, so, when you're working your team, how do you want to... How do you want your team to work together? And I'll say that again. How do you want your team... To work together. Okay. I have three warriors. So Dark Queen, Swift Ali, and Gerd. I'm able to take out strong enemies very quickly. I have a chance of freezing. I have healing. I have shielding from Kuya. Kuya... Um, Genie Kunia shields two people. So there's AoE, single attacks, and all of them are very, very strong. Now, I can't say my team is perfect. My team has uh, conflicts that it does struggle with. Um, and that's okay. <clears throat> because... The way my team works is the way I want it to work. I want my team to be uh, different, so to speak. Let's see what we can get today. Cool. I'll check that out later. Um, when it comes to my support, I had to make a choice of what I really wanted. 
how I wanted it to affect my team. So what I mean by this is how do I want my healing to come into play? How do I want everything to um, function? Thumbelina worked really good. Or good enough, excuse me. Um, to where I didn't have to worry. So, what was my choice for going to Miss Conch? Well, Miss Conch provides the chance for freezing, and she also provides the chance for um, kind of some other variables that I needed. Meaning, there is healing over time. There is, uh, ooh, close. Um, there's all the benefits that I needed behind it. I was trying to figure out how to say it for a second there. Almost couldn't figure it out. My bad. Um... I wanted my team to work a certain way. Your team has to flow. There's bonuses with my team that allow me to um, work in the Warriors the way I needed to. And then having uh, Genie as the tank over uh, Shariar, um, I have protection from my character. So it's in a sense like Genie is another support. So don't look at him as a guardian. He is uh, similarly support. Um, and the way he supports my team. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> the way he supports my team is the way I need. <clears throat> my troubles. My apologies, my apologies. Um, is the way I need him to support my team. Um, oh, wait. I need you. My team, I'm building a little differently. So I can't really just look at, does this work? Does this work? Is there this kind of possibility? Is there, you know, there? there's no way to truly look at it other than how do I need it to function? Uh... I can't really say whether it functions right or wrong. It just functions. Hey, that was a pretty good one. Okay, mind summons. I'm at six. Okay. Um, the way the way I set my team might not work for everybody. The way somebody else sets their team might not work for everybody. You know, you can't. You can look at the top players, and that might not work for you. And that's something you have to look at is don't just try to copy somebody. If it's working for them, that's because they've chosen how they want it to work together. It doesn't mean it's going to be perfect for you as well. And if you want... your team to work together 
you have to look at how the characters work. Unfortunately, there's so many. I can't really think of how I'm going to even bring out all of this information to you guys. Uh... That being said, it's for a reason, because Cool. When taking actions has a 40% chance to increase 10% resistance for ally with lowest HP. Nice. When hit has 40% chance to increase damage relief. Nice. Very nice. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to call that good for right now. Ooh, Wanwoo assisted. Holy smokes. Appreciate it, my dudes. I'll make sure I do that. Always give them your love. Um... There's a lot of ways to build your teams. There's a lot of ways your teams can work. Don't just look at it as, oh, there's one possibility. With the amount of characters in the game, I've seen a lot of teams. And I've seen a lot of variations. Uh, some do work. Some don't work. And don't let that refine how you feel. Okay, even if, oh, well, that's not going on Dottie anyway, so, okay, um, can I get any more EXP? I can, gimme, uh, yeah, now I get to show you guys some of the ways that I am boosting my team up. Uh, I want that as well. Give me, thank you. I'm not going after skins. I'm not going after all the excess junk. I'm going after things that I need. And right now, oh, hey. 64, okay. Twenty-four. Nice. And I'm doing it the way I want to. Because I'm stubborn and that's how I like to do things. Um... Nothing I want there. Okay. Uh, I can take that for free. Thank you. Um, so let's see what we can get now. I got 40. Holy cow. Won't need him. Okay. Draw 10. Okay. I need to retire a lot of heroes, I guess. Or retire a lot of junk, excuse me. Well, do it this way. Um, so I'm hoping as I go along and I get my team done. Oh man, it's another long video because I've been talking like crazy. My bad. Um, so as you're building your teams up. Kind of look at all the heroes, you know, just take a little time, 
peek in, see what they're like. Um, there's so much to learn that you can constantly look at the heroes and still not have all the knowledge you need. Um, so once I get done with this and I get my draws going, uh, I'm going to call this video good. Three more. Hey, another Larissa. Cool. Okie dokie. What are these for? Okie dokie. Well, I figured I kind of give some of my mind out and show uh, how you look at your team. So I hope this helps y'all. Y'all have a good one. Thank you.